Students and staff members are out of school for the remainder of the week in West Harden because of a flu outbreak. One parent says it's about time the district closed for a complete cleaning. She spoke with 12 News reporter Jordan James about why she feels this way. The parent says she puts pressure on administrators to close so workers can disinfect schools across the district. She says the flu outbreak is getting out of hand. I've never in my life seen the flu this bad. Yes, sir, thank Angie you. Angie Collier Have has a good seen day. a lot in her lifetime, but nothing quite like what she witnessed this week at West Harden Schools. I went up there and they were steadily being sent home for the flu, steadily, steadily. Collier is a food vendor for the district and says this flu epidemic won't stop her from delivering meals. If I have to, I'll wear a mask, spray Lysol, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna take our kids our, their food. Parents like Erica Prince says it's about time that the district decided to do something. If it was about the children and the learning, when it first started being an epidemic a month ago, they should have shut it down. West Harden's CCISD announced Tuesday that they are closing schools until Monday. The superintendent, Dr. Jim Armstrong, told me about 8% of his staff and students are sick. That's roughly 50 people. Prince's daughter is among them. It's only March and she's been in the hospital five times. And you believe it, it came from the school? I know it came from the school. I don't take my kids anywhere. I'm one of the moms that my nine month old doesn't go to the beach until she's two and a half. Dr. Armstrong says five days should allow plenty of time for the flu to run its course in those already affected. Workers will come in to do a deep clean on classrooms buildings. But for Prince, even this isn't enough. And five days isn't enough. Four days, technically, because they didn't shut down till today. Three days. Yeah, it's not enough. They need they need another week at least. Dr. Armstrong tells us that the decision to close the school comes after consulting with Hardin County Health Department and the CDC. Workers will continue a deep clean throughout the week. In studio, Jordan James, 12 News.